so hello again my name is Pranit and welcome to my trading view point script series in this video we are going to create a simple day trading strategy with two emis and you can see the net profit is 97 percent total close trades are 162 profit factor is 1.44 and the maximum drawdown is 17 percent so this is the day trading strategy i've built and i'm going to share it right now Alright, so now in this video, we are going to basically create a simple day trading strategy uh, with two EMAs. One will be 13 and then the second will be 34. So day trading strategy with two EMAs. So first we are going to create a trade type at what time we want to take trades. And then the second the thing that we are going to create is our square off position so at what time you want to square off your positions so i'm going to create a 15 minute uh, ema strategy so trade in is equals to time which is an inbuilt function which requires three parameters two parameters and one parameters so you can use one you can use two or you can use three so i'm going to use time frame and i'm going to use the session which is 9 15 to 10 30 not 9 30 10 30 all right and then we have a trade out is equals to time time frame as 15 and the session will be 1445 to 15 all right and then i'm going to create input controls so ml length one is equals to input dot int title is equals to ema length 1 default value is equals to 13 min value is equals to 1 max value is equals to 100 and step increment of 1 all right copy and paste the same down below this is ema length 2 ema length 2 default value will be 34 and everything else remains the same and then create the fading indicators so ema1 is equal to ta dot ema close and 14 uh, sorry 13 so we have already created an input control so we don't need to keep this as 13 so ema length is 13 so basically we try to we create input controls to make our optimization easier directly from the settings of the indicator no need to go to the code and change it again we can directly do it from the settings of the indicator and then ema2 is equals to ta dot ema close and the eml length 2 which is 34 so we have created the trading indicators now create the buy and sell logic so this will be buy is equals to EMA1 TA dot crossover of EMA1 and EMA2 short is equals to TA dot cross under of EMA1 and EMA2 and then we are going to keep the trade in over here so trading means we are only going to take trades between 9 15 to 10 30 after that they are not going to take any trades and trade out means is our square of timing so once the session which is 14 45 to 15 once the session is complete we are going to exit our positions all right so once the 14 45 to 15 candle is complete we are going to uh, exit our position so basically it is a square of timing so we are going to keep and trade in. Uh, yeah. So trading is T is capital. Remember trading view is a case sensitive language. So make sure to use your variables properly. And then sell. So sell is nothing but uh, TA dot cross under of EMA1 and EMA2. Or it has to be the square of timing which is trade out. So either we are going to exit our positions with the uh, 13 EMA crosses the when 13 EMA crosses and closes below the 34 EMA or we are going to exit based on the square of timing. 
and then cover is equals to ta dot crossover of EMA1 EMA2 or trade in uh, sorry it will be trade out trade in is our uh, the trade timing and trade out is our square of timing so now we have created the buy and sell logic now let's create the strategy part so i've already created strategy part in many of my videos but uh, it has been a very long time that i have again started uplo uploading the videos so i'm just going to create it again strategy dot entry first we create an id then direction is equals to strategy dot long uh, sorry it's direction and then when is equals to buy and comment will be buy and then create a entry for the short so id will be short direction will be strategy dot short when is equals to short and this will be short as well and then strategy dot close So remember to keep the same ID that you have kept over here. Uh, so because we when we assign the same ID, then only it is going to exit our positions uh, with the same ID. So make sure to do that properly. When is equals to sell and comment is equals to sell and then strategy dot close. short when is equals to cover and comment is equals to cover so we have created the strategy part as well so we are going to go to the chart and see um, how the strategy looks so for that i'm just going to plot ema so one second a is equals to plot ema1 And then B is equals to plot EMA2. And then we are going to fill A, B, and then color is equals to color dot new, color dot blue, and then 70. All right. So now let's save let's see if we have any errors we need to create this into strategy okay so we have some errors over here yeah i think we are done yep and keep the overlay as true overlay as true save and then add it to the chart and yeah then now you can see that this is the result with a simple uh, crossover strategy between two emas i'm going to keep the capital as two lakhs and then uh 0.02 percent you can see we are having a net profit of 91 percent with percent profit of above 50 percent profit factor is above one and drawdown is 20 percent so basically this is a simple strategy that we are we are created uh with sim just simple two emas i'm going to create uh, many more strategies with macd with RSI in the future, just delete this close. Yeah, save. I think again we have to yeah. So ninety one percent is our profitability in the last three and three uh, three or three and a half years. So yeah, you can see over here. Uh, as soon as the EMA crosses and closes above the thirty four EMA, that when the thirteen EMA crosses and closes above the thirty four EMA. We are having a buy setup over here and our trade continues to go on without any sell signal and that is the reason our position got squared off at the square of timing so we are only going to take the crossovers um, and not when the 13 em is above the 34 ema we are only going to take the crossovers and the cross unders you can see over here as soon as the 13 ema crosses and closes below the 34 ema we are having a short and then we have we are having a square off exit over here so everything is working well you can see the strategy is giving us 91% result. Uh, let's just comment this and what if what happens if we trade? Ah, uh, sorry, I made a mistake over here. 
let us comment the short entries and just see uh, what happens if we do this as a only long only strategy just see yeah so it is not that working great so just again uncomment this so basically this is it with the strategy this is how it works uh, obviously you should not trade the strategy directly into the markets try to add some more indicators to it uh, try to add some momentum try to add some volatility filters try to add bands which is Bollinger points or Kerner channel and then see how the strategy works uh, but please don't directly trade the strategy into the live markets now you have an idea about how you can create day trading strategies uh, very simply in trading view point script so if you don't understand any part of the code that is absolutely all right i'm going to share you the whole code all you have to do is go to index stratagies.com the link will be in the description uh, and once you click on it you will end up on this page uh, just drop me a text on whatsapp and i will directly send you the code and if you like this video please subscribe and let me know in the comment section below what you think about this trading strategy so thank you for watching this video see you again in the next series